Uh, usually I can't see attendees until I start the webinar. Okay. Okay. All right, we are recording it. We are recording, yep. All right, for any members of the public here, and for the record, this is uh, the February 23rd, 2022 meeting of the Amherst Conservation Convention. Uh, we are not actually meeting due to a lack of quorum. Uh, all hearings and other business on the agenda will be postponed to our following hearing, which is what day there? Um, it will be March 9th, 2022. Which will be March 9th at 7 p.m. All the hearings that are on tonight's meeting agenda will be officially continued uh, at the time of their hearing starting at 7.30. Um, but no business will be conducted. Everything will be continued, uh, i.e. postponed until the next meeting. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else to add this meeting. Aaron, anything for the public? Um, I don't. I saw one person was on and they they quickly got off. So um, yeah, that's that's fine. Yeah. And I'll uh, I'll just I'll just sit here with my headset on and I'll <laughs> turn my video off. And if anybody joins, I'll explain what's going on. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, Thank you very much for your service and waiting this one out. Of course. Uh, Good to see her. you. And I'll see you uh, next Friday. Sounds good. Take care, Leroy. Bye-bye. Bye.
hi charlie i see you on um i gave you permission to talk um if you'd like and um i just wanted to let you know that the, we didn't have a quorum of meeting um uh, we didn't have a quorum of members for the meeting tonight so the meeting is being canceled okay. um I'm going to be announcing the um, continuation at 7:30 for the first hearing. But um, if you know, you're welcome to. And with a, this is being recorded. It's a recorded um, so that Fine. I can just document the fact that there were continuations. And I'm just sort of sitting here through the hearings until oh, the last one is continued. Um, but yeah, if you have anything, you know, or if you, you know, want to talk offline. Um, I did get the response from Brenda, I think her name is. Yeah, um, right, right. That's my wife. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I was going to give her a call tomorrow to talk about that um, rather than okay. talk about it online. But um, sure. uh, <clears throat> if you have questions or concerns or anything, I can certainly write things down and make sure that we can talk about them at the next meeting. Or if you just want to attend the next hearing, that's fine, too. For me, I'll probably just do the latter. Um, okay. I mean, I think I, I, I haven't totally tracked the conversation Brenda's had. I think she's conveyed, you know, some of the concerns we've had. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think at this point, I don't really have any questions. Okay. Um, yeah. But right. thanks for thanks for uh, <laughs> saying yeah. hi and letting me talk. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, so the hearing will be continued to March 9th, which we'll be posting an agenda. Um, and um, that'll be just like this. Uh, this link will actually work for the hearing as well. Um, the same link for tonight will work for the March 9th meeting. Um, I believe that hearing is going to be on at 7.35. Um, let me just double okay. check. March 9th. And um, is it, are we, oh no, it's 740 just, rather, 740 rather, 740, I mean, March, just, uh, March 9th. And just March so you 9th. know, we do five minute blocks for meetings, but usually the hearings take quite a bit longer than five minutes. We do that just in case the first hearing or second hearing asks for a continuation. So we don't have to sit there for 20 minutes or half an hour waiting for the next hearing to start. Tonight's a great example. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you know, the meeting is canceled. So I only have to sit here 15 minutes to do the continuations. Um, but yeah, so 740 is when it's scheduled for on. Uh, okay. March okay. 9th. And, and right now it's just the two of us on the call. Um, correct. Yep. Yeah, but it is being recorded. So it's, it'll probably yeah. be posted on the, um, you know, the town website. Okay. It may or may not be. Um, it depends, but I just want to make sure that I'm like, out yeah, in the yeah, public yeah. announcing the continuations for folks. Right, right, right. Yeah, um, well, I'll, yeah, you may want to, um, like you said, um, the phone call later. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, I'll give a thanks call. Thanks so tomorrow. much. I really appreciate your efforts. And uh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> thanks for all you do. I, I teach in environmental conservation at UMass. And I don't know if you know Scott Jackson. I work with him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, I recognize I, your name um yeah and i were, yeah <laughs> yeah did you did you were you uh in our program at some point in the past i was so i um yeah huh. gosh back in like i don't know the late, late 2000s i started um graduate school and i attended umass for a couple semesters um while i was working full-time but back then, the you know, it was so different. I was working full time and I was working two part time jobs. Oh I was gosh. like a major single homeowner hustling, trying to, you know, <laughs> pay my dues. And uh, uh, anyways, so just. You're a better uh, person than I. I tried to work <laughs> and go to graduate school at the same time. and I couldn't do it. <laughs> Well, I eventually got through, but I ended up going to Northeastern because the entire program was online. Um, okay. So it was, the problem was like, there was a bunch of courses that were only offered during yeah, the day, yeah, like right, Monday, right. Wednesday, Friday, way back then. And so I could right. never make it work with a full-time job. Um, yeah, I totally get it. So I ended up dropping that program and um, doing a, a master's program at Northeastern, which was all all online um okay and so anyways i eventually got my master's degree yeah <laughs> <laughs> but just not at us <laughs> well i mainly brought it up just because i i appreciate the work you do and the you, the commission does and uh, yeah thanks for your efforts i'm sorry you're sitting here at 
7.30. Oh, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely fine. I don't mind at all. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, it's not a big deal. So no worries. Okay. But thank all you right. for the kind yeah. words. Yeah. Well, thank you. And um, yeah, we'll talk to you or I'll, I'll, I'll March 9th. I'll, I'll see you again. Yes, that sounds Thanks. good. Bye. All right. Take care. This is Aaron Jock, Wetlands Administrator with the Town of Amherst. Uh, tonight's February 23rd, 7.30 p.m. and the first hearing on the agenda this evening, um, which is request for determination for the Amherst Survival Center for the installation of a generator and propane tank with associated concrete pad and piping in the 100 foot buffer zone at 138 Sunderland Road is going to be continued to March 9th at 7.35 p.m.
the 735 notice of intent hearing for the Berkshire Design Group on behalf of Valley Property Management and Killerine Properties LLC for renovation of ex existing house, removal of existing barn and restoration plantings in the riverfront area of the Mill River on 80 Pine Street is continued to March 9th at 7.30 p.m. 2022. It's 7.40 p.m. and the scheduled request for determination um, from Larner Consulting on behalf of Dan Lewis and Lewis Builders for the tree clearing in the 100 foot buffer to the bordering vegetated wetland. Um, 
and an intermittent stream after the fact permit filing for the construction of associated site work for two single family homes at zero Tuckerman Lane and zero Kingman Road is continued to March 9th, 2022 at 740 p.m. Um, leaving the meeting at 741. Have a good night.